I need to rush really because I don't have a lot of time. See the only funny part of the slide. Okay, I'm wasting one slide here already because it's mandatory. So please read this. You have 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, so uh, about uh, in MySQL, we care about DevOps. So, uh, and I want to talk today about InnoDB uh, cluster. So it's something new. Maybe you don't uh, have tested this. It is for HA uh, easy deployment. So remember, this is DevOps, so we have DevOps. And the DBA, I have the feeling, because I'm in the DevOps for a long time, that the DBA was a bit in another world, right? So that uh, we didn't take care of this DBA. And uh, so when I started in, uh, for a long time in DevOps, I had this feeling, okay, DBA, uh, we are in another camp. So there is not a lot of for, for us. So I don't know if you have tested the Puppet, uh, for example, uh, receipts. It's quite difficult. So we don't have anything for that. So we try to, uh, to improve that. First, I would like to know who is using MySQL here? Oh, quite a lot. That's good. Who is using uh, configuration management for it? OK. Do you like it? Do you think it's easy? Mm. So, uh, I, and uh, so, yeah, sec twice the, the same slide, I have more time to speak on this. So, uh, <laughs> I try to, uh, we try to improve that, to make this much easier. And so, this is why we did this uh, InnoDB cluster. So, it's easy to use, can scale out, it's an out of the box solution, and it can be set up in four minutes. So, if you follow MySQL, maybe you have seen a video, the video on it, right? <laughs> so, uh, it's very easy. So the InnoDB cluster is the router, is the shell, and the group application. I will talk about this uh, step all together. But for you, uh, DevOps people, the shell is maybe the most important. So MySQL group application, it's a plugin for MySQL, made by MySQL and packaged by MySQL to make, uh, let's say, uh, to replicate everywhere. So multi-master, parallel multi-master. Uh, and uh, we use Paxos for doing this. So you will be able to write everywhere. So HA much more easy. You don't need to say, oh, my slave is behind and stuff like that. Which one should be promoted? You can write everywhere you want. And it's uh, supported on all MySQL platforms. So Linux, Windows, Solaris, OSD, FreeBSD. We detect the conflicts. We do everything on that. On top of that, you have the router. MySQL router, it's just a proxy currently, which is smart enough to understand what's going on in the group. The very nice stuff is that you don't need to configure. It connects and it gets the configuration from the group itself, from the cluster metadata, which is cool. The shell, this is where you can run SQL statement, very easy, but also all the admi administrative operations. So you will be able to create a cluster, to get information about the cluster, to know everything from that. So your code can go there and ask to make everything. So you can make interactive stuff or uh, batch operation. I have question about interactive and batch later, maybe if we go around, because I am a bit curious, or maybe for uh, uh, this afternoon. And you can do uh, it use MySQL standard. So this is how you can set up uh, a cluster. You can see it's a JSON, uh, JavaScript, you can write Python or SQL. So just with these commands, you can create a cluster, check if the configuration is OK, check if the instance are OK, so meaning if it has the data and everything. So. Uh, here we very, this is new function that if you have tried the previous labs, it was not there. So we, we verify the configuration, it can configure it for you, and it verify the state of the data set to say, oh, the data set is okay, it can join the cluster. So this is very nice. You can do it in Puppet. So here I've just put some uh, Puppet code uh, on GitHub, and this is what you have, a common YAML, demo YAML for one of the cluster. You just say, okay, service, uh, server ID, and it's gone, and it's done. Nothing else, nothing more. If you don't like the router, you can still use other proxies. For example, here, HA proxy with you know, DB cluster. So then it's up to you to uh, deploy HA proxy. Or for something I prefer than HA proxy, it's uh, proxy SQL. I don't know if you know it. So proxy SQL is a very nice proxy. So we try to implement all that for make your life much easier to deploy uh, HA for your database. And, but we don't stop there. So we try to improve that. We, we started with the cluster, but we also do 
persisting configuration uh, variables. So currently with the configuration management, you modify my CNF, then you need to restart and stuff like that. Here you can connect directly, say, oh, I want this now, change my buffer size, buffer pool size, and do it. And I will save it for the next restart. So this is about me. Thank you for listening. If you have questions, I will be around, and I'm very interested to hear your feedback about databases and DevOps. Thank you very much.